Team Red has been waiting, quivering with anticipation for Zen Plus. And we have a 2600X and a 2700X. Right here in our own studio right now. Unfortunately, we can't really give you any sort of technical specs about it yet. That's not something that we've been authorized to do, but they did send us some lovely boxes here and we're gonna do a quick unboxing. Yes, we're under embargo. And if anyone at the table were to not be able to help themselves to go into long technical diatribes about these kinds of products, they must not do that. We can only unbox. The good news is we brought Krista in as a box expert and she's going to review the boxes themselves because no one said we couldn't do that. That's a, I mean, it's box experts, not really the right word. Maybe packaging expert. I, I, I've done a little bit of packaging design in box the past. A box expert. Hmm? So we're going uh, to coin that phrase here today. Yeah, Wendell, that is that is the box. <laughs> that's uh, that's our first box here. I actually really like uh, hardware design packaging because it's always so sleek and so modern and nice. Like they they really care about spending more money and putting that on the consumer. Well, let's talk about the CPU outer box. You know, how do you feel about this? I, I like this one quite a bit. Um, it's a little bit plain. Like it's not got anything too fancy in terms of like inks or it's not a. Uh, uh, embossed or anything like that, but it has a really nice sort of texture on it, almost like a basketball. Embossed? That's like the new lithography process. They do, so they don't have an emboss on the front. They do have one, like, on the logo, the actual logo. They do have it for the recycling symbol, which seems a little odd. Seems like a weird thing to spend money on, but maybe they didn't want to deface their nice orange with just a plain white or black. Well, let's haul those puppies out and get a look at the internal boxes. <laughs> Of course, most of you, you, you're thinking, well, tell us about the performance. Is there a performance increase over the old Zen? But oh, we can't tell you that. The performance this time around is So yeah, these are two pretty nice boxes. Nothing too fancy, but perfectly fine. Um, it also comes with this nice little card, which tells you what they are and all the specs with it. Oh, right. there's a typo. There's a typo. The, the Now, some things we can tell you about the cooling is they have this new near silent thermal solution that they're uh, advertising here. With the five, it's called the Wraith Spire. And with the seven, it's called the Wraith Prism. Of course, unfortunately, we can't really tell you anything about the actual thermals that these devices can achieve. Well, with the Wraith Prism, I mean, it's yeah, so that's enough about the cooling. Uh, you know what? Why don't we just why don't we just skip all that? Why don't we go into the big box, Krista? How do you feel? This is a nice box. It's it's an okay box. Uh, again, I'm not. It's the kind of basketball texture. I'm not in love with how they've just done the the logo in just gray, but I understand it's expensive to probably print something so large. So let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. It does have Velcro, which you guys can hear. That's nice, nice feature. Oh, don't hit the mics. Got our big insert. This is seems like kind of a waste of paper, but it is nice because when you open it up, it lays nice and flat. Now inside the box, we have, a, we didn't just get CPUs. We also got some motherboards and some RAM. Uh, and you're probably thinking, what about, you know, these motherboards? We want to know about the PCI connectivity. Well, we can't tell you anything about oh, the PCI. Right, so, and we also, in this box, we have the G-Skill Sniper X, uh, X Extreme Performance Gaming DDR4. 16 uh, gigabytes of DDR4, 3600. It's on the box. It's okay. It's on the box. It says that on the, you can visibly see 3600 on the box. He, he's true. That's right. That's right. It's fine. It is missing. It is missing out of the box. Well, I had to do a build, you see. And the build is... We do have a build, but before we show you the build, and that's all we can do, we can just show it to you. But before then, Chris, why don't you tell us about these boxes? I really like these boxes. Uh, this is the Asus box. I really like this one in particular because it has the really nice foil printing. That's a, a very expensive process. They've got that in several places on this box, but it looks really good, especially on the mat. It's also got a nice like clear gloss in several places where it has like sort of a nice pattern to it. It's also on the inside, which I mean, if you're looking for luxury, that's something you can be proud to display on your shelf. That's the only step up from that would be wood paneling. Wood paneling inside of it. Yeah. Chrome detail. And this one's quite nice as well. Now it doesn't have the foil, but it also has sort of the gloss details. You can kind of see where it, uh, it looks a little bit different, raises up 
from the background a little bit. And the inside, pretty standard, nice little bit of foam. Also a worthy shelf addition to your desk area. Right. As our sort of final tease, we actually have started a build with this. Um, we can't tell you too much about it again, obviously, but here it is. Yeah, we might know some benchmark scores at this point, but we just cannot share them. We've been embargoed. Let me tell you about the CPU performance. It's